somewhere there will be a McLaren. There it hey. is. Ah, oh, found it. And I knew it would be out the front. He's such a show off. Well, good morning and welcome to a very early start on Supercars of London. You may have seen over the last couple of days or so that Sam from Seen Through Glass unveiled his Jaguar F-Type replacement, a satin car key McLaren 540C. Today, myself and Sam have decided that we are going to go on a bit of a drive. We're going to go on an adventure, but we both need to be back by sundown tonight so it is going to be a quick trip but we decided that we're going to drive to the Cotswolds. We both know the roads there quite well and I'm also going to be bringing along Alex Carms who you would have seen a couple of times last year. He's coming to help film and photograph the day and I'm just so excited for it. Oh someone just got flashed. Oh no. Someone just got a speeding fine. In their <laughs> Seat Altea. Alex joins us. I've just picked him up from the train station. My fuel is saying 39 miles. All I'm gonna do is fill this car up and then try and burn as much fuel as possible today. We are taking the BMW M3. There have been a few questions on Twitter when I posted the pictures to why I'm taking the M3 over the AMG GTS. Well the only thing that I can say is the AMG GTS has got probably the biggest day of its life next week and the last thing that it needs is mileage and a long drive out. So I'm going to leave it at that. We're taking the M3. We're being Sam's security today. I feel like he needs some sort of security or, well, he, I don't think he's taken his car out of sport yet. This is his first drive today. <laughs> so whether it be a support vehicle, we've got no tools in this car. Actually, we do. We've got the European driving thing. I've got high vis. Yeah, we can give him moral support. Exactly. outside the front door. There it hey. is! Ah, oh, found it! There, that looks sick. And I knew it would be out the front. He's such a show off. Oh, look how cool you are. Your doors are gone. Stop it, Sam. <laughs> Where are your shoes? Have you matched your shoes? Oh, I'm not wearing them today. I thought it was a bit overkill. I'm wearing the above. Oh, so you're instead. matching shoes to the stitching. I see. <laughs> Hello! I see what you have done. You know my game. God, when are you going to start up? I want to hear it. Oh. <laughs> we can do that now just to annoy this hotel. Come on. All the turbos. <laughs> no, over. Okay, I'm I'm ready, I think, he says. Um, a lot of stuff in my cabin is probably gonna fly around, but just let me know when you're ready. I am ready. Don't crash into me. <laughs> I'm not sure if we could. <laughs> oh. Now you have to go this way, Sam. Good move already. 
God, McLaren drivers. Can't take him anywhere. <laughs> He's probably putting his four wheel lift up now to make sure that he doesn't scrape anything. I'm gonna have traction in sport to begin with, just to learn the slip of the car. Because on roads like this, there's not much room for error, but on the airfield there was. And I haven't had too much practice since. So I'm gonna take it relatively easy. I'm gonna try and stick to Sam's tail as best as possible. Hopefully when we get a little bit of a free road, we can start putting the power down. But I suppose for this first element of the drive in the morning, it's all about warming the tires up, getting the car up to temperature, and then going for a proper blast. So I'm waiting to hear on the radio as to what Sam is, suggest is suggesting, where we're going. But there are some amazing roads and views around here. So uh, I will stop boring you with my voice and let's enjoy what we have in front of us. A pretty damn cool road so we are now getting GoPro up uh, Sam's taking longer than than me I think Sam's GoPro repertoire is now over 10 <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my car with the Sun behind it looks incredibly mean Sam's getting them angles and I suppose like with, oh, that's such a cool place to do it with like the, the groove of the door. I hope so. Alex is somewhere, somewhere in front of us. I have absolutely no idea. Getting some footage, getting some photos. And Alex today is helping me hopefully lift up the video production level because I'm doing my best guys, I'm doing my best and hopefully, progressively, things can't just happen at the click of a finger I wish they could but pro progressively the video production is going to start to increase. This is the first proper experience of hooning my M3 and I have to say on these roads here it is amazing. <laughs> describe because it's such a big car it feels quite heavy as well but that is probably helped with the fact that the steering is quite heavy so I feel like I'm proper wrestling with the car but I've got traction firmly on because I've had a couple of moments where the traction has been either in sport mode or off and it's tried to snap at me in third or fourth gear which isn't the right speed to be going sideways Driving and following Sam, the amount of people that I catch looking and turning their heads at the McLaren, which I'm pretty sure Sam is completely unaware of, which I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, grill him on now to see whether he notices. If his door opened, which is not. Hello. Do, do you notice how many people look at this car? No. <laughs> is it ridiculous? A lot. Really? Two female fans in that place that we just My passed. My increased with. female demographic. I reckon it's up to 4% now. <laughs> 3.5 in a spare. 
They were about 65. I freaking love it. Not the female fans, the car. <laughs> <laughs> no, and female Look fans. Look at how YouTube my car is. I mean, what? I'm a knob. I'm a total. What is that? What's happened? <laughs> What's happened? You got suede inserts and you're ruining it. I know. Putting camera equipment on. <laughs> Just they stuck it on quite well. <laughs> Sam, how does it feel walking back to a McLaren? To a McLaren. It's just literally like what? <laughs> it still hasn't sunk in. I'm like, oh, I've bought it for a week. <laughs> it's freaking mad. You've experienced owning a supercar before. It's just bizarre. You just keep looking at it. Yeah, but also like also the way other people look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. forever, I'd go to cars. Like, oh my god, someone, someone's here in a supercar. <laughs> now it's me. <laughs> and people come back and they're always standing around it, taking pictures. I know, and like, stuff. goddamn spotters, guys. <laughs> no pictures yet, please. <laughs> Hold me, mother. Who, who are you? Look at it. It's literally, all I did when I was trying to hide it before the reveal, people would take pictures. I was like, guys, I'm sorry if you cannot tag me. And they're like, so who? <laughs> Who was like, <laughs> I thought you were a spot. <laughs> <laughs> right, we are now rolling out from our lunch stop. Sam has filmed a video for his My Friend Bought a series. He's quite late to the party. I bought this car in November, but at least he's done it. So we're going to make our way back to Jill Carriageway, back to the motorway so that we can get back and have the drive home still in the daylight. Sam says he's got one more place to take me around here, so I'm just going to follow him, cruise. Sam says he's now going to cruise. Um, and let's uh, hit one more stop, hopefully a nice road, before we part our ways and get on with the rest of the week and weekend. Why are we here? Let's face it, you didn't want to be in the MT today, you wanted to be in a supercar that I saw such a nice one when I came to collect this. <laughs> Come inside. I got the 650s for you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a McLaren. I mean, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a nice driving road or something after lunch. <laughs> He's like, God, I got this place to show. It's sick. A McLaren. I mean, there's some pretty cool cars. In there. there is. There is some cool cars. Like, we. It'll be rude not to check them out. Let's just try not to block all of the traffic. Uh, well, not what I was expecting on the final stop, but. What a perfect opportunity to just have a look around some of the awesome cars that McLaren Ascot always have. I came down here to drive the 650S back to back with the 570S. And now they've got LTs, they've got P1s, they've got some amazing stuff. So um, whilst it's light, let's have a look around. Time to upgrade the engine. <laughs> to a P1. <laughs> to a P1. <laughs> or a P1 GTR. That, I really like that. That's so cool, isn't it? Very nice. Yeah, good idea. And check this out. Blue P1 GTR and a baby McLaren P1. Look how the body goes over the wheel. Absolutely, absolutely mental. Always a pleasure to come here, even if it is unexpected. And there's my pretty dirty M3 sat outside. You're really happy about Are you going to buy one? No. <laughs> I feel like you liked some. I'm so happy. I'm like, come on. You imagine you, you me, oh. Tim, James cruising four McLaren. <laughs> you, you are. You've been taken over. I know. I'm so part of the You are now, now controlled by Ron Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> he left. Oh, yeah. Still controlled by him. Awkward. <laughs> anyway, that was a pretty insane day. It was like, a wicked day. We had a, a lot of fun. I'm so glad you came along. Because and it would have been uh, a bit, bit weird to do it by myself. I mean, yeah, but. Well, I would have done it by myself. Yeah. <laughs> I would have done it by myself as well. <laughs> but it was just so nice. Like, it was so sick to follow you and just to see, like, trying to work out how you were feeling, sort of getting behind the wheel and getting those miles under your belt on your new McLaren 5 Center, which I have to say looks sick from pretty much every single angle that I saw today. So, uh, good choice. Thank you. Great <laughs> choice. You could have one today as well. <laughs> You're a salesman now. Are you on commission? Yes. You're on commission. <laughs> right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. And I will see you incredibly soon for the next video. Bye.